Do you want to learn more about Microsoft Teams data architecture and how to backup it? In this video, I will deep dive into these topics. Microsoft Teams is the application we're using on a daily basis. Probably this is the first app we're starting, maybe together with Microsoft Outlook, and we treating all functionalities that are there as something totally natural. If you confirm the meeting and join the call through Microsoft Teams, this is totally intuitive activity right now. If you collaborate with your friends in the Teams channel, if you uploading the files there, or if you replying to the chat window in the Microsoft Teams, this is the way how we work today. And this is also the good point to realize that Microsoft Teams is the one of the first really cloud-based applications provided by Microsoft. It is heavily based on mix of already existing apps in the Office 365 and Azure services. If you will compare how other apps like SharePoint, OneDrive or Exchange works, these are the apps that grew up from on-premise environment and more or less they are separated applications. In case of Microsoft Teams, we have multiple data sources where the data created or hosted in Microsoft Teams is stored and this is also connected with multiple Azure services that making this application work. On the one hand, it gives us really great application that help us to collaborate with others on the daily basis, probably through almost biggest part of our daily work. But at the same time, it is very complex data architecture behind this app in very cloud-based solution. In this video, I will let you know a little more in details where specific data components of Microsoft Teams are stored, what are the challenges behind it, and how to prepare yourself to backup that data to be sure that you will not lose it in any case. And before we will move forward, I want to share with you that this video is brought to you thanks to the AFI AI backup vendor that is proud partner of my blog office365adwork.com and supports this series of the videos that will help to share the knowledge about the backup process of the data in the Microsoft 365 that works for enterprise. And as always, at this point of the video, I would like to ask you for support for this channel. If you like this video, leave the thumbs up. If you want to subscribe the channel, click the button. And if you have any additional questions, do not hesitate, just leave the comments below. And before we will move forward to discuss about what is possible and what not about the backup of the Microsoft Teams data in general, it will be good to understand how complex the data architecture is there. You can see on the screen that we have multiple elements where our data connected with the Microsoft Teams is present and in general we have at least two elements where our data could be hosted from perspective of the files and documents. So if you uploading any documents during the chat or sharing that data with others, it will be hosted in the OneDrive space. So any data uploaded there will be uploaded to the OneDrive space with the Teams chat files and all people that will get access to it will work on this specific files on your OneDrive Teams folder. On the other hand, in the file section, in the Teams team, you will find that behind your 
Collaboration team is the dedicated SharePoint site. In the another video on this channel, I deep dive specifically to this part, what kind of SharePoint sites are created to host the documents of the team's team. On the other hand, one more thing that is quite important, all recordings are also stored in the OneDrive or in SharePoint. If you're recording the meeting executed in your Teams team, then recordings will be stored in the dedicated folder in SharePoint. If you're recording the meetings in the other approach, it will be saved in the recording folders of this person OneDrive. So again, in these three scenarios, our data will be saved on the OneDrive or in the SharePoint. At the same time, all our messages, chats, meetings, these are the elements that will be saved in our exchange, sometimes in the hidden or in the visible part. Meetings are saved as events in the calendar, so this is something very simple, but at the same time, Teams messages or chats are saved in the hidden folder in the exchange structure. You will not be able to, to see that from your Outlook perspective, but you can reach out to that through any applications using API or PowerShell. What does it mean? It means that a lot of our informations are stored in the totally different applications. We already have SharePoint and OneDrive, plus we also have a lot of components hosted on the exchange level. To make it even more complex, a lot of elements are stored in the, let's say, not visible for us structure on the Azure level. So all elements like how our teams are structured, tabs, applications and configurations, these are the elements that are hosted in the background of the teams applications on the Azure components but this is something totally not available from the user perspective. We cannot touch this structure. API allows us to do that, but from perspective of the user interface, there's no space we can open and see that information there. What does it mean in summary? You can see we have SharePoint, OneDrive, Exchange, and a lot of Azure components that hosting our data connected with the way how we working with our Microsoft Teams. It is very complex, natively cloud-based application. This is not one application with one database that hosting everything. This is the app that interconnect with other data sources and store the data there. And you can ask, okay, we know that architecture of the Microsoft Teams data structure is quite complex, but why should we bother about it? Microsoft Teams become one of the most used application in our organizations, in our daily work. Almost every company who using Microsoft 365 is heavily dependent on the Microsoft Teams. You should know that 5% of active users in most of the organization generates more than 50% of all the communications around the Microsoft Teams. This is really, really huge volume. And if we check more, you will get to know that the top 1% of active users sending more than 2,100 messages per week. These numbers are very, very high. Also shows that in some cases, losing that volume of data of most crucial, most active users in your organization could dramatically impact the way how you work. And of course we can talk, our users will not delete that data. We have native retention services in the Microsoft SharePoint. Microsoft OneDrive, Exchange, and in Teams general. That's true, you can set native retention features in these applications. I'm talking more in the other videos about that, but you should take in consideration one scenario that will not handle that. What will happen if your company will become a victim of the phishing attack 
and your data will become encrypted. This could be really, really difficult scenario to be resolved. Moreover, if you will not have third party backup, it could be a really challenging situation that will need to be resolved by your IT team. In the rest of the video, I would like to introduce you to the backup solution that you can test using AFI AI and show you how you can backup your Microsoft Teams setup and restore it in case that that kind of disaster could happen in your Microsoft Teams environment. And again, and in case of backup of the Microsoft 365, more and more I'm focusing not on the aspect of, let's say, removing the business data by mistake by end users, but securing any kind of security incidents where your data will be attacked by hackers and your data will become somehow encrypted and not available. In such a case, the only solution will be to have backup and restore it. And of course, this is not the only case. You should also think about all aspects of securing your environment to be less vulnerable for attacks but at the same time you need to remember users will be like the most vulnerable part of your organization and in case that that kind of disaster will happen you will need to have the solution to restore lost data and remember sharepoint onedrive exchange offers this a possibility to retain the data, to restore the removed data. Moreover, Microsoft Teams also offers the possibility to retain the data that will be deleted, but it will not resolve the problem of the encrypted data on your environment. Check how AFI AI solution could help you, how you can backup your Microsoft Teams data and restore it if this will be needed. So now we will switch to Microsoft Teams and AFI platform to make possible to backup all that data that we have here. And one more important element. You need to remember that I focus a lot about all this data structure that is behind Microsoft Teams, how many components are there and where they are stored because not every backup vendor for Microsoft 365 offers to backup all of them. And this is something that I highly recommend you to focus on when you will manage or do the research about backup solution for your Microsoft Teams platform. And the second thing, how the backup of these components looks like. Do you have to merge them later on? or the backup tool support this possibility to just restore the Microsoft Teams and all pieces of that component will land in the proper space. This is very important if you want to make your life easier in case of any kind of disaster recovery scenario for your Microsoft Teams environment. You will see that in case of AFI backup that is provided for your Microsoft 365 environment, thankfully these components are backupped and you don't have to worry where they are stored. In case of setup of your environment, you need to remember that you already have something called SLAs for your environment when you can decide which components are selected for the backup. Do we want to? backup chats, emails, drive one notes and tasks, which is also part of planner, which could be included in the Microsoft 365. And when these SLAs are set up, you are sure that elements that are included as a part of the Microsoft 365 data in Teams will be backed, and you will have later on possibility to restore it. In the next step, when you set up in the backup using AFI AI, you need to decide what do you want to backup. So first of all, who are the users that you want to protect in the area of backupping Microsoft 365? And at this moment, you already know that first of all, there are people that have very strong impact in the volume of the data that you will have created in the Microsoft Teams. 
Moreover, some Microsoft Teams components will be saved in their Exchange profile. So select the users and assign the SLA to assure that these people will be backupped and their data will be saved in our backup platform. So as soon as we cover that, you can go to groups and teams and also secure these elements. In case of the Microsoft Teams created, you can assign the SLA policy, but you will see we already done that for the teams that are created there. And double check if the sites of the SharePoint are also protected. This is very important if you want to be sure that all of components of the Microsoft 365 will be backup. So first of all, user data, groups and Microsoft Teams and sites on the SharePoint. As soon as you will assign SLA policies for backup of these components, the backup will be created for them and you will have the possibility to restore them. And now we are back in case that our sales and marketing team in Microsoft Teams is deleted and we want to recover it. You can see the volume of the data is not that big there, but still there is also Microsoft Group behind it and SharePoint Online. So let's try to recover that data based on um, our backup that we made. You can see that we have the information about the SharePoint structure that were created behind our Microsoft Teams team. We have the group email and on emails that were sent inside that group and same thing about the teams in general. So all elements that were created in here. In such a case, if we want to restore everything, then just recover that data. And in that case, you want to recover everything that we have there. So let's try to recover our Microsoft Teams team that were deleted in our structure. You can see this very simple example. There's not a lot of data there. But imagine that if you have really huge volume of the data in your Microsoft Teams, maybe you want to restore it just for one folder and you can also do that. So you can select just one document library, one folder, some messages in your structure and restore it to them in the different locations Microsoft Teams team. This is very useful scenario if you're thinking about recovering something that was lost. Any scenario your data will be blocked for you, like encrypted after attack, this solution will allow you to restore the whole data. Let's give some time for AFI AI to restore that data and then let's see how it will look like in Microsoft Teams. Restore operation for our sales and marketing team is done. So we can go back to the Microsoft Teams and check how it looks like. You can see the team is present in our Microsoft Teams application. If we will go to the setup, we have people already assigned here. We have also all channels that were created and SharePoint structure behind it. Of course, again, this is quite simple scenario, but it shows you how to restore the Microsoft Teams team. And same case with the users. So if your users will use Microsoft Teams heavily and you will need to restore the data, you will need to have really valuable backup solution that will cover volume of the data and complexity of the Microsoft Teams architecture. I recommend you try AFI AI for free. In the description of the video, you will find the link for free trial. I hope this video will give you the opportunity to have better understanding of the data architecture behind Microsoft Teams. And I really hope that you will think to securing your environment from perspective of any attacks that could end with encrypted data on your site. Having the backup solution is the one answer for that challenge, but also take in consideration that securing cloud-based applications is super important and Microsoft Teams is one of them. So thank you very much for watching of this video and see you in the next one.